It's Nam from NV Auto here. Today I'm gonna to show you what a typical Subaru head gasket leak looks like. So here we have a Subaru 2.5 liter single overhead cam and usually people associate head gasket leaks with oil and coolant mixing in the system. But usually on a single cam that's not how it looks. There's usually an external leak and we'll show you here what it looks like. On this 2006 Subaru Impreza, we've removed the exhaust manifold so we have a closer look at the cylinder head gasket leak. You can see here on the front of the engine, on the right side, a collection of coolant and oil leaking between the cylinder head and the engine block. And you can see it leaking towards the back of the engine where it gets worse. And on this engine, you can see that the valve cover gaskets are leaking as well. And here you can see how the leak's gone really bad to the point where it's covered up the front cross member, leaking all the way to the bottom of the cross member and onto the steering rack and the sway bar. And on the left side here, it's actually worse than the right side. You can see a little bit of pooling of oil and coolant. I have little driplets here and you can still see a very fresh leak here and right into the back where it collects and this side we also have a valve cover gasket leak as well and you can see how bad the leak is causing it to kind of gunk up on the cross member and all over the sway bar in the steering rack. So in order to fix this head gasket, we're gonna to have to pull the engine out of the car, separate the heads from the block, and send the heads off to the machine shop to get clean, planed. And also the block, we're gonna to have to check to make sure there's no warpage or any cracks on the block surface, and then clean that up before we meet the head to the block. And at this time, with the mileage is that we're about 260,000 kilometers on this vehicle, we're going to do the timing belt and the water pump at the same time. Thanks for watching. If you want a more detailed video of how to perform this step by step, check out the link below for the Speed Academy video we've done.